Hey queens, I'm Bailey. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is my May update for my lipstick project pan. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. Anyways, this is a part of my project pan where I'm solely just focusing on my lipstick products um, because I have a lot more than what I need. And also I have a lot that I don't want anymore. If you're new here, just need to let you know, this is the year that I pan all of my Jeffree Star products because I have spent quite a bit of money on these products and I just want to get my money's use out of them and then get rid of them by using them up. That is my 2021 goal. <laughs> um, also, if you're new, hit subscribe, notification bell, and everyone hit that like button because it would help your girl out. Now let's get into this. Let's start off with less exciting stuff. Um, I have the succulent gloss from Jeffree Star. This is like a pink gloss with a gold blue shift. However, when you put it on your lips, it literally just looks like you have gold glitter on your lips. I, did I use it at all? I used it once and then decided I am going to declutter this because this is just not for me. I don't enjoy it. I don't like the blue glitter look. I feel like it's, um, it goes back to my elementary school days where I thought blue and purple just were just so flattering on the lips. And I mean like lip gloss, like blue and purple lip gloss. It may be flattering on some people, but for me, it's just not for me. So I am decluttering this. I have my Mineral Fusion lip crayon thing in this. I have not used it this month, so there's no progress. Um, Let's talk about my liquid lipsticks. I have two minis and one full size. Calabasas I only used twice. However, I am seeing a hole right there. Um, I still have a lot of product on the wand, so I assume I have some time to go with this one. Some time to go. Um, and then there is Birthday Suit, which I have used four times this month. And as you can see, I'm still getting a lot of product on the applicator. There's holes in the container, but since I am still seeing a lot of product on the applicator, I am keeping it in this project. Then I used Christmas cookie a total of four times. And I'm seeing less product on the applicator. It's also just harder for me to get product on my lips. So I am deciding that this one is done. Um, part of it's cause I'm tired of it and part of it's just cause it's getting to that point. The stopper has been off of it for a while. So the formula is starting to get drier and thicker and less comfortable. And when it starts getting to that point, the lipstick on my lips will start to bunch up around the center of my mouth and get really weird and it's it's time this guy has been in this project since the beginning and he's ready to go to replace christmas cookie i think i'm going to replace it with dominatrix this is going to add um uh some diversity into what I have in my lipstick project pan because this is a deep, deep brown. Like very, very deep um, is my, it looks like I have the stopper out. I do really love this shade. This is one of my favorite shades that Jeffree Star came out with. However, Jeffree Star is trash. Uh, I have found a dupe for this shade. Well, sort of, that shade is a little bit darker, I think. However, I think it's a good replacement for this shade. So I am going to work to get this one out of my collection now, now that I found something that I think can really replace it. So there's that. Lastly is my MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in Pretty Boy. And I use this as a cream blush, not as a lipstick because 
I don't want, like the way that it looks on my lips. So this is kind of where I'm at. Uh, in the last one, I believe I just evened out the stick and now I'm starting to actually like move down the stick. I'm thinking maybe in two months I can have some really good progress on this, if not have it done. So that's going well. Um, I use this a total of nine times. Um, and I forgot to say this, um, I am replacing my gloss with the Lunar Lip Gloss in Naked. It's just a clear lip gloss. The reason why I am doing this is because um, Lunar Skies was a indie brand that was up and coming and they had some really good releases. I am not going to lie. However, uh, there was a lot of issues with the Lunar Skies and they were going to become a crystal company instead of a makeup company. So I don't know what they're doing now. I don't know what they decided on doing. However, I've decided just to get through my Lunar Skies products because it's just, I had a weird feeling about it and I just decided to stop supporting them. So this is the lip gloss in question. It, it's almost done. I assume in like a month or two, I'll have this completely finished up. Um, I do have to do multiple dips on it because not a lot of product comes off on the applicator. So then I feel like I'm still using a lot of product than I probably should. What is on my lips? So I think this is gonna be a product that I can get um, out of my collection here pretty soon. Right, and just to end out this video, I wanted to show you what colors I had going for me. Um, a lot of pink, you know, we got some pinky tones up here, but then we also have this deeper tone that I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of because it's something that's different. Um, I'm hoping that I'll see a lot of progress in July. I'm hoping, really hoping. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like Project Pans, please hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please hit the like button on this video because it would help a girl out. And I have videos coming out every Tuesday and Thursday and you don't want to miss them. All right, that's everything. You guys have a good one now. Goodbye.